Yo, what is going on YouTube? Technically T bringing you another case review today for the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And we have some cases up on deck from Ghost Tech, man. So once again, always a huge shout out for Ghost Tech for dropping me these cases to review. Now, we have a good bit of cases, man. I think we got six cases here. We're going to all go ahead and get into them. Iron Armor 3, Atomic Slim 3. We got the Exec, the Nautical, the Covert, the Cloak. All four, all six. Now, I'm about to say four because the cloak four messed me up for a second. But we got six cases here, man. So let's go ahead and get into them in no particular order. Let's just go ahead and dive straight into it. So the first case that we have up on deck is the cloak four. So it's drop tested, non-slip grip. You get that limited lifetime warranty, multi-layer protection, crystal clear, and all of that good stuff. So this is basically going to be their crystal clear type of doing no type of thing here so just looking in the packaging you really don't get much thank you card warranty and you get a little ghost tech sticker so if you want to do some trolling you can go out there and do some ghost tech trolling man so let's go ahead and take a look at the actual case itself and this is, is going to be there one of their clear case offerings you see you get that super transparent back you get that ghost tech branding down here you get that volume up volume down you get that power button flipping over on the bottom you get all of your ports with a precise volume port really like that good attention to detail on that man so let's go ahead and pop the 11 pro max in here and of course let's just go ahead and get my my wireless charger ready so here it is man cloak four i gotta always look at these boxes because ghost tech has the most insane naming when it comes to their cases man so yeah here it is cloak four so let's go ahead and take a look at the buttons in on it man power button nice and tactile no issues volume up volume down easy to press as well and the volume you know the mute toggle is not hard to get to so that's a plus flipping over on the bottom you have your cutout for your lightning and your two cutouts for your volume ports and this is a precise cutout when i say a precise cutout some cases have a long port when it doesn't need it man it only has a few dots down here it only has a few grills so very nice touch there and flipping over on the back of course you get that camera protection as well taking a look at that lay on the table protection now yes i am rocking a timber glass screen protector so it does have a nice little lip that goes all the way around it now of course this is rated for drop protection so you should be good to go if you were to drop this down on a ground it definitely has lay on the table protection not only on the top and the bottom but as well as the sides next up how does the case actually fit on the phone and this case fits amazing ghost text makes some solid solid cases man and the fit of this is no slouch at all the fit is absolutely great when it comes to popping it on you can get up there and it's kind of not saying it's hard to get off but you gotta have to force it just a little bit to get off but it does come off very good man no droopiness on the sides at all of course you're going to get a little bit of play when it comes to the power and volume your top and bottom are very stiff as well so nice nice a plus fit when it comes to this cloak from ghost tech man very nice fit now how does it feel in your hand it actually feels pretty good you know i am a fan of cases offering a little bit of grip of some type of material here on the bottom side and that is right where you hold it so i'm glad they actually added a little bit of checker pattern right here and of course that's going to help with your grip a lot when it comes to the bulk of it it doesn't add too much bulk i feel like for a drop protection and everything like that it isn't too bulky of a case it actually feels pretty good and also make note of and almost forgot of these extra protection when it comes to all four corners so you do have some nice corner protection when it comes to this case dropping it down on wireless charging it works just fine with wireless charging man so here it is ghost tech cloak for once again the one of their clear case offerings for the 11 pro max all right next up we have the covert three now this is kind of similar to the cloak and we were talking about a clear case offering but the cloak was a little bit more of uh, you know stiff material this is going to be a little bit more flimsy tpu style now same design same almost same thing i mean you get your ghost tech branding you get your frosted sides going around it you have your enhanced raised corners on all four corners and uh that's about it so let's go ahead and pop the 11 pro max in here and let's go ahead and take a look at this case so checking out the buttons and the buttons on this feel way better than the cloak man the buttons are way more pronounced when it comes to this case and you can actually see it right here very nice raised buttons actually feel amazing getting to that mute toggle switch isn't hard to do as well flipping over on the bottom look at all your ports you have your accurate port man and you had your cutout for your lightning and your speaker so all is well there and flipping it over on the back of course you get that protection for your camera next let's take a look at the lay on the table protection yes tempered glass screen protector of course 
and it still offers a layout on the tail protection going all the way around 360. So you definitely should be good in the event that you do drop this on the ground. You should be protected, man, because it does have a nice little lay on the tail protection. Next up, how does it actually fit on the phone? And the fit is pretty good. I'm not going to say it's like amazing or anything, but it's pretty good for the material that you are dealt with. When you pop it in, it definitely feels good. It definitely feels like it's not going to pop off. It definitely is up there and it's not going to come off as well. But it, with any flimsy style or size material, you're going to get it when it's going to be a little play on your size like that. No, that play isn't terrible, but I have to let you know that it's there when it comes to this Convert 3. But overall, man, the fit is very good. I absolutely like it. I could easily run this case and don't be bothered by the fit at all. How does the phone feel in your hands? And it actually feels very good. This matte frosted type of material right here actually is pretty grippy. Now, I don't know how this material will do over time if it gets dirty or anything like that. So that's something to keep your eye on. But overall, it definitely feels good and it doesn't feel like it'll be an issue holding this phone. Does it add that much bulk? I feel like it doesn't add that much bulk. I mean, with this type of protection that you're getting, a little bulk, you know, the caveat is always going to be a little bit of bulk. So that's not that bad of a thing, man. But other than that, it's pretty good. Dropping down on wireless charging works just fine. Like I said, you get those four impact corners. And, of course, on the back, you get that clear back so you can always show off the color of your iPhone. But, yeah. This is the Convert 3 for the 11 Pro Max. All right, next up is going to be your Atomic Slim 3. So let's go ahead and get this up out the packaging. Now, once again, this is going to be another clear case offering. Man, they have so many clear style type cases that you can choose from. You can really just choose your poison. But this one right here feels like it could potentially be probably one of my favorite clear cases right now that they have. So this is going to be a very, very rugged rigid material when it comes to the bezel on this on the right side you get that raised metal plasticky type power button and you get the same thing with the volume up and down mute toggle protection for that man and flipping over on the bottoms precise cutouts and everything and you get that clear back and this one has actually an aluminum frame so this is the real deal when it comes to this aluminum frame so this really adds some some premium materials when it comes to this case so let's go ahead and slap this on the 11 pro max and i keep activating <laughs> my apple pay right there but it's all good man you guys don't see anything but yeah here it is the atomic slim 3 for the 11 pro max so let's go around it power button works nice and tactile no issues it's not that tactile it's kind of mushy to be to be 100 with you i'm not really feeling the way that power button feels but could be my model i'm not sure the volume up and downs they're a little bit better but you know what? They're also mushy. So it might be just something with this case because they're a little mushy as well. So it is what it is when it comes to that. Getting to the mute toggle switch isn't that bad. It's a little bit recessed in there. Flipping over on the bottom, of course, you get all your ports and your cutouts are spot on. And, of course, flipping over on the back, you get that camera protection there. Taking a look at that lay on the table protection. Now, it does have a lip that goes all the way around it. This thing, of course, is a military-grade drop protected. So you are expecting it to have a lay on tail protection. So you should be good in that category. So definitely going all the way around it, it isn't bad as well. You do have a nice little lip. So you should be protected if your phone was to land face first. Next up, how does the case actually fit on the phone? And with this being an aluminum frame, it fits just like an aluminum frame case should fit. It, has, it fits amazing. There is no give at all any way around it. And if we have to compare the fit to this to anything, I feel like this fits something like the solid suit from Rhino Shield, where it just has no give. Nothing gives nowhere. So that's a very good thing, in my opinion, when it comes to this case. So very, very nice fit when it comes to the Atomic Slim 3. How does it feel in your hand? It definitely feels pretty good. It feels like you do have a more premium case, that aluminum feel. Right here on the sides feel a little cold and it actually feels pretty good. I like the feel of this. It has a nice design where it says Atomic over here and then it says Atomic over here as well with a few little cuts and patterns. Just an overall very nice sleek design case. Dropping it down on wireless charging works just fine with wireless charging, man. So here it is, Atomic Slim 3. It has some uh, Ghost Tech brand down here and it has two exhaustion type holes to where you don't have to worry about, you know, kind of... I don't know what it exactly is used for. I actually forgot. But if you know what it is, I'm pretty sure you comment down below. But this is going to be one another clear case offering so you can show off the color of that 11 Pro Max. So here it is, man. Atomic Slim 3. All right. Next up, we have the Exec 4. Now, this is a four-card wallet, man. Military grade. So you already know when it comes to this. Wireless charging and it has a detachable wallet. Now, that's a good look because before... 
I don't think this case is wireless charging because of the wallet, but the fact that you can take the wallet off of the case now is pretty dope. So let's go ahead and check it out. I don't have my cards where I do my wallet review readily accessible, so you guys don't flame me too much in the uh, in the uh, comment section, man. But yeah, nice removable type deal here. All right, so here it is, man. Here's the exec for for the 11 Pro Max, you have a nice raised power button on, a, on the side, volume up and down, cut out for your mute toggle, very good grip points along the side, I'm pretty sure that's going to help with the grip a lot, your top is completely closed and flipping over on the bottom, you do have all of your accurate port cutouts and everything like that, so let's go ahead and see if we're on airplane mode because I will get tons of messages, I got to kind of check it periodically because I'm waiting on some packages to get here, so I got to make sure when they deliver it, but here it is, man, Ghost Tech Exec 4 for the 11 Pro Max. So let's go ahead and go through it real quick. So here it is, power button, nice and tactile, no issues there on the side. Volume up, volume down, feels very, very good. And getting to that mute toggle switch isn't bad. Flipping over on the bottom, you get all of your accurate port cutouts. And then definitely flipping over on the back, you get that cutout for your camera. Taking a look at that lay on the table protection, yes, it does offer a lip that goes all the way around it. This case is also military grade drop protected, so you should be good if you were to drop this bad boy on the ground. You definitely don't have to worry about anything. How is the grip of this case? How does it feel in your hand? Actually, no, let me take that back. How does it fit on the phone, man? And the fit is absolutely great. Like, I almost want this case but just without this wallet thing on the back. Because if this was a case on its own, woo, this case would probably be one of my top contenders. I'm not even going to lie to you. This case feels very good. Let me slide this back on. But overall, this case feels very good, man. Definitely no droopiness when it comes to the sides, when it comes to the top. Very, very nice fit. I feel like Ghost Tech is really stepping up their fit when it comes through the years of these cases. So, excellent fit. How does it feel in your hand? The case feels very good. It could feel a little bit of awkwardness when it comes to the wallet on the back. But overall, it definitely feels pretty good. So, no issues there when it comes to it. Definitely doesn't add that much bulk. Because it is a wallet case and they added a attachable wallet, you don't really have to worry about bulk being a thing when it comes to this case because... It has a detachable wallet. And so that's going to be help a lot when it really comes to bulk and actually really holding this in your hand. So that helps a lot when it comes to this case. And of course, dropping it on wireless charging. Now with the, with the wallet up there, it's not going to work with wireless charging. But they made it to where you can take it off. Drop it down. Now it works with wireless charging. That was always the thing with these cases. They didn't work with wireless charging. And that always was an issue to me, man, when it came to these cases. Me personally, I don't rely heavily on wireless charging. But... A lot of people do. So here is the wallet. I don't have my cake, my cards readily available, but this is a four card slot. So if you want to use it with the case, you can slide it up there. It has a little stopper right here so it doesn't go any further. So that's very stable. And I'm pretty sure if you wanted to put this in another pocket, you could just slide this in another pocket and also have this as a regular phone case. Probably how I would use it because I'm not really a fan of wallet styles and different wallets on attached to my phone because if you lose one, you lose all. But if you want to be a little different, you have a phone, have the wallet, and you are good to go, man. So I really think this is a very, very nice case. The Ghost Tech, very nice design to make this a thing now instead of just having it built into where you couldn't use wireless charging. So, yeah, here it is, Exec 4 for the 11 Pro Max. All right, next up, we have the big boy. We're talking about the Iron Armor 3. Now, this is definitely drop protected, military grade, and, uh, yeah, all that good stuff. Multi-layer protection. So you have, like... Three layers of protection when it comes to this thing, man. Tempered glass screen protector included. So that's a big, big plus when it comes to this case. So let's go ahead and take it up out the packaging. And uh, we're not going to really install the tempered glass screen protector just because right now I have one. But like they said, this does come included. So that's a very nice touch when it comes to this case. Of course, you get your old man belt clip. Throw it on your wrist. Throw it on your waist and uh, go ahead and rock out. We'll put that to the side. We'll get to that at the end. But for right now, let's go ahead and take a look at the actual case itself, it being alone. So here it is, Ghost Tech Iron Armor 3. You have that raised power button, raised volume up and down. Nothing really different when it comes to this case. One thing, they don't have the accurate port cutouts, which is weird to me because all the rest of the cases for the 11 Pro Max does, but this one doesn't. So that makes it a little bit weird. And it, it's, it's completely closed up top. So let's go ahead and slap 
the 11 Pro Max up here. Even though it's a super, super protective case, you don't have to worry about taking the, the other slot off and doing a whole bunch of different crazy stuff. You really don't have to worry about that. You should be good to go. So here it is, man. This is the Iron Armor 3. So let's take a look at the buttons. Buttons are nice and tactile, volume up, volume down. Even though it doesn't recess a bunch, it definitely still feels good when you're pressing them and getting to that mute toggle isn't too bad as well. The mute toggle also kind of looks a little bit off-centered in there. So I'm not sure they did that on purpose, but it just looks a little bit off-centered. So I'm not really sure what's going on there. Might be compatible for the iPhone XS Max. Things might have shifted. Not 100% sure. But anyway, yeah, that's that. And flipping it over on the back, of course, you do get that cut out for your camera. And another little slinky thing they got right here is a little card slot. They actually added a little card slot right here. So if you wanted to slide a card or two in here, now I'm not sure how many cards that it would take. But, yeah, see, I think right there, and that it just has one card right there. So, uh, one card pocket. Yep, there it is. One card pocket. So, a nice little thing. If you want to just slide one card, your license, your credit card, whatever it is in there, you can also slide that in there. And you also have a kickstand built in to the phone. So, you can definitely prop it up as a kickstand. You can be good to go. Rock out in that manner, and you are definitely straight if you want to use it as a kickstand so definitely a nice little addition there taking a look at that lay on the tail protection how does this lay on the tail protection look and it does have one that goes all the way around it so you should be good when we're talking about a lay on the tail protection man this is their probably one of their most heavy duty offerings so of course you're going to get that lay on good lay on tail protection so nice little addition when it comes to this case there how is the fit of this case now the fit is absolutely great just like the other ghost tech cases no issues at all when it comes to this fit so you have the amazing fit top and bottom snug sides are very snug so you don't have to worry about anything when it comes to that capacity how does it feel in your hand now of course this phone is a heavy duty protection so it's going to offer a little bit more bulk so therefore it's going to be more substantial in your hand but that's to be expected when you are talking about a case like this now dropping down on wireless charging with this case it does not work with wireless charging now I know the back removes, but that's not the way this case is intended to be used. So it just doesn't work with wireless charging. So take that in account. This isn't going to work with wireless charging. And of course, last but not least, let's go ahead and bring the belt clip over here. And this do the belt clip on it. So you get your Ghost Tech branding here. And no, this doesn't offer as a kickstand. Yes, it does. I'll take that back. This has like a little flip up mechanism. So you have another kickstand. So not only do you have one on the actual swivel clip itself you have one on the actual case itself so nice nice thing and for this to be a heavy duty case with the kickstand it still is fairly thin profile all in one so nice job here when it comes to this iron armor three i'm about to say four for the 11 pro max man so if you need a heavy duty protection then you might want to definitely definitely go check this one out all right so last but not least we have the nautical two now this is going to be your extreme proof whatever proof that you need water snow dirt just i don't know what that one is but anyway this is going to be your waterproof case or whatever you need to be man so this is your nautical 2 series so let's go ahead and get this up out of the packaging and uh let me get this out now i'm not sure what that is right there but we're not gonna worry about it we're gonna go for what we know because the iphone hopefully is water resistant as they say it is so let's go ahead and get into it man let's get this out of there and here it is so here it is man nautical 2 this is basically going to be your waterproof style case so we're not even going to go ahead and sugarcoat it man because this video has been longer than i wanted it to be anyway so let's go ahead and pop this case in and uh let's get this thing in some water shall we because we're going to go ahead and get straight to it this case right here is made for one purpose and one person purpose only if you are out there and you need an extreme proof type of situation whether it be water whatever it is man you're gonna need some protection and that's what this case offers right here man so usually you're supposed to put the case under water first and see if it leaks or blows bubbles but guess what we going straight in with the 11 pro max because i trust it and apple i hope i can put my trust in you and you won't leave my mess water junk so here it is man nautical edition let's go ahead and get to the power button nice and tactile the buttons feel good we're not going to talk about lay on tail protection because you see what's going on here the fit is very we're not going to talk about that this is not a case that is for that dropping down on wireless charging still does work on wireless charging but once again that's not what this case is made for so grab this big old bowl of water we have right here all right so we have 11 pro max 
nautical, boom, dropping it in water. So there it is, iPhone 11 Pro Max in the water. Now I'm not sure. Something could be uh see I got nervous real quick. You see how that that screen jit real quick? I got nervous, man. But here it is, the 11 Pro Max in the nautical tube in a bucket submerged in water. Now, once again, I could have probably read some directions. I could be doing something incredibly wrong, but there it is. This is the case now. I didn't read any instructions. I swear I just went for it. So it is what it is, man. But here it is, man, Nautical 2. So if you're looking for a waterproof style case, then you definitely might want to check this out. Everything seems to be working just fine. It doesn't uh register, you know, kind of fingerprints when it's wet, but it's all good. But just dropping it down in the water, man, that actually does pretty good so here it is nautical 2 if you're getting this case this is what you're going to be using it for so this is exactly what i wanted to show you all right so here are the cases for the 11 pro max from ghost tech man now i'm not even going to go over all the names because i probably would have to look at the box and there's so many that the box i might get confused but anyway here are all of them man this is going to be your like kind of least protective cases this is going to be your wallet this is going to be your heavy duty and you already see this is going to be your case that has the waterproof because you see i just Drop it down in some water, man. But technically, T, you already know the links to each and every one of these cases will be down below. So definitely go down below, pick your one up, hit that like button, definitely comment down below. Let me know which one is your favorite. And if you use Ghost Tech products, and definitely smash that subscribe button if you rock with your boy. But until next time, later.